strengthening and the strengthening project that the globe has done. In its third year now, our branch, a daily Indian media initiative, is with high integrity and transparency, has become the true voice of creating filmmaking in Bollywood. Power Brands Bollywood Film Journal of Black Man Motion Pictures presented by Times Now in association with the Cash Group and AIPS Zoro Group, Cinema Advertising Partner, Kushi Advertising, Content Partner, Content Technologies, Outdoor Partner, Bright Outdoors Media Private Limited, Design Partner, Ravish Kapoor Innovative Invitations, Red Carpet Partner, Sandhya Group, Planning Partner, Brand Search, and CSR Partner, GITF, the Great HMF Dream Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Power Brands event, and as you can see that, with all the new fans and the award winners, and all the stars sitting on that side of the stage, uh, to tilt the balance, the scales in my favor, May I request on stage the host of this event, one of the finest brand consultants in the country today. She is the editorial director of Plan Man Media and much acclaimed for her columns in 4 business and marketing, author of the best sellers, comes to competition, and the right to as your brand ambassador.
have there been any moment to your center? Hi, Jan. Yeah, hi. Hi. So, in your life, kabi aisa hua when you felt very conscious about weight or something like that? Hi, Jan. I had, I think, four years of that because I was one of those brilliant people who put on weight and then went on national TV and did a show with Vaseem Akram, if you remember. I was superbly overweight. So it became like national news. I would see, you know, those stickers under the news channel? Headlines me. Have you seen Sushmita Sen? Um, but you know, I learned something during that time. I will lose the weight. But what are we going to do about the character everyone else lost in the process? So I think body shaming is not a cool concept. I've never liked it. And it's important to recognize that you're going to have dips like this in your life. You're never going to be consistently perfect. And while you're doing that and you're discovering things about yourself, and let me also tell you there are people in this world who have genetic issues, people who have health conditions. So to, to judge people is easy. But to let them just enjoy the moment is difficult because we are in, in the limelight and we're people who are judged every day. How did it feel? Not nice. It didn't feel nice at all. But what it did do to me is it brought me back into recognizing the fact that not because people say so, but I'm a strong woman. My strength can't be seen. I think it's a complete package. So I got onto aerial silk, hung from gymnastic rings, and here I am. Wow, that's nice. Uh, secondly, you. whom would you, you know, term as a fi uh, fitness icon in Bollywood now? Um, personally, Tiger Shroff. Okay. He's fit. Very fit. Okay. Female? <laughs> yeah, you know, you can't see a word. <laughs> um, Any other questions? <laughs> <laughs> you go, girl. Divya. This is the cue. You go. No, no, there are... This generation of actors and people in the industry, they're all moving towards fitness rather than the perception of mujhe patla hona hai. There's a big difference between being thin and being fit. So I'm very happy that this entire generation of actors are doing that. There are a lot of fit women in the industry. Hi, Sushmita. Good evening. Here. Yes, hi. This is Shayanti. You're looking lovely and stunning. You've always been an inspiration. Thanks, Shayanti. Uh, so the fact that you mentioned that, you know, at 18, you had the pressure of being Miss Universe and, you know, dealing with uh, everybody's expectation. Now, are you beyond that at this magical age? I like how you're just skipping the age and just going to this <laughs> magical age. You're an inspiration. So again. You know, I, it's a lovely question. I don't think you ever stop being a woman. And part of being a woman is being given a compliment, is being appreciated, is being told that you're beautiful. Um, and that beautiful um, is a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work because you never get over all of that. But what you do get comfortable with is your skin, is who you are. And then you get to that point where you say, you know, bad day, but if I wake up tomorrow morning and I want to be a 10, I'm going to be a 10. That confidence comes with age. That unfortunately doesn't um, come at 18. Definitely not at the time that I was 18. The 18 year olds today are far more evolved because they have social media, they have great awareness. We didn't have Google and we didn't have YouTube and we didn't, so our world was very different. But yes, in today's time, if you tell me to define the business of beauty and perfection, I'd tell you just walk all over it, darling. There's no such concept. The only thing that matters is how you perceive yourself. Do you like who you see in the mirror? <laughs>